Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's and Any. So you can touch the survival games to your face off. Today's first impression is Mr. Prepper, another Steam Summer Festival demo. For those who don't know, a prepper is someone who's prepping for the end times. You, they might be preparing for zombie outbreaks, plague, virals. Usually they have, at the very least, survival skills a backpack full of equipment and tools, and a way of escaping. Sometimes they build bunkers, sometimes they head off into the forest. Sometimes they're just like former soldiers who are preparing for World War III. But a prepper is someone who's preparing to survive the end of society. Either it's just local end of society, like a city falling. Let's play the demo. Let's go new one. It's a bike. Washing machine. Safe. Gas cap. What's that? A car. That is a car. Ever since the plague and the change of the government, this town has been unbearable, lifeless. Filled only with boredom, propaganda, and control. I've tried to escape, and I've failed this time. But I'll find a way. They call me Mr. Prepper. Sounds a little bit like current society, doesn't it? Tell me you recognize where we are. Hello, citizen. Hmm. For an attempted escape, we have confiscated your vehicle. This is a standard procedure. Uh, Obviously, you are also prohibited from buying or registering a new hmm. one. The agency expresses hope that you will not attempt to leave Merrickville again. <laughs> I'm sure I plan to fall in love with this beautiful town. Hmm. That is a commendable attitude, citizen. Sounds very... communist. From today onwards, you are also on probation. Hmm. I will come for a brief inspection every day to check for any subversive actions or items. Hmm. This is standard procedure. I am sure you comply and my visits will only be a formality. Bless the President. Hmm. Bless. Huh. This is a tutorial. Let me show you around. So as you can see, this is your house. You have to hide all subversive things. You can build quite a large bunker underneath, as you can see. So you move it by clicking, as you can see. Double click to run. So you can right click on anything to see what you can do with it. As you can see, you can inspect it. What's this? It's a wardrobe. Wooden metal. You are tired after you escape. So it will say it. But you have like a time. That guy literally does come back every day. And if your house looks different, say maybe you've melted down the fridge or moved it underground, they get suspicious. So you have to build a fully functioning underground bunker under your base, under your house, without being spotted by the G-Man. Which is uh, easier said than done. You're hungry, go eat something. I'm going to open. So to keep fully prepped, you have to keep your tiredness and your hunger up. So you have like three bars as it were. Tiredness, hunger and suspicion from the G-Man. I'm going... Mm. Hmm. I'm going to open. I would like to eat this. I have eaten. Keep your preparedness high. See, in the middle it's showing where I currently am. It's your most valuable stat. If it drops to zero, you will faint. Stay well fed and well rested to keep it high. So as you can see, you've got to keep it up. Hmm. Let's check our escape plan. Hmm. Goal number one, survive. Hmm. Goal number two, escape. Build my first bunker. So now we're going to get into the digging. So you can dig new areas out, but it takes time. Like as you can see here, it shows how long it takes. Everything takes time you do. Obviously, you have to make sure your time is well spent because the G-Man will be back. You need to craft a ladder. So first you need to uncover that. So yeah, as you can see, this is going to be 
yet another thing. So this is subversive. Building a ladder into the basement is subversive, and obviously having a crafting bench is subversive. Let's craft. Mm. Okay. Let's see. What, so what we need to do now, as you can see, so we need metal and wood. Ah. You will need some metal to start crafting. So start by buying eight units of metal. So you trade people over here. You can also obviously go places from here. This sign has all the lovely places. Let's uh, see here, there, somewhere, over there, uh, somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, trade. Hmm. Yeah, that's how it should work. There we go. So, Sir Guige, I'd like to buy your lovely metal, please. So that takes time. The trust level's gone up. There's so many more things. Okay, we can sell them stuff too. But yeah, that's going to take uh, about one and a half minutes. So we're going to go and get some wood from the forest, as you can see from our lovely map. Okay, so just going to pick hmm. up logs. Just grab this. So hey. some areas you can't go from the demo. Because obviously it's a demo. Ah. Like, I don't think we can go off the beaten path. like a path over here somewhere. That's about as far as I've gotten. I've obviously done a bit of the building stuff as well. There's bushes you can get. I think you can go further into the woods, maybe. Obviously you can leave. But yeah. Ugh. Enough of this nature. Hmm. So you can obviously set traps to get more food and stuff like that. Because hmm. obviously you want to try and prepare yourself. Let's go and craft. So obviously you want to make this better. So you need to disassemble a little wood, which also takes time, as you can see, about 15 minutes. As you can see, everything takes time, so it's very much time management. Hmm. Now we need to go get our metal. Because right now we have like a big empty hole under our base. That used to be more lively here. Yeah, I wonder why. What that pipe is? Maybe gas. Okay, let's make a better workbench. This is just a table. But now, this is suspiciously a very advanced workbench. So let's make a ladder. So we can hide it. Okay, we're going to... Um, while I'm at it, just going to know what I need to do. Build this here because it's telling me exactly there. But yeah, you have to be in bed before two, I think it was. In good condition. It's night time, you can call it a day and go to sleep. So now we have this. You need lamps for your bunk, you need glass to make them. Let's just assemble something at the workbench. Okay. Grab this. As you can see. You have to dismantle things in your house for the stuff you need. It gets a little bit difficult, obviously, because you don't want anyone to notice what you're doing. Because if they do, it's a little bit obvious that you're trying to escape. Let's make a one. Hmm. Well, let's make a two of these. Oh, can I make one? Can I um disassemble that? Hmm. Make another one? No, it won't let me. Still being taught. Grab. Let's go downstairs. Let's put it there. So now, of course, I will be able to hide things. So let's uh, cover this. No, it won't let me. I'm going to have to learn the hard way. So let's go to sleep before 3 a.m. So I've got a few extra hours. So everything has to be done before 3, and every morning the local G Man will come to you. That's because that's about as far as I got. And I've seen images of the base, yeah. I've seen images of the base where there's actual rockets and entire living rooms and things. Hmm. Cover that. Okay, wait, wait. No, um. Turn that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Turn it. You need five room saw, can craft it in the workbench, and five seat bags. Yeah, turn it. Cover. Hmm. 
Go, go, go. As you can see, you need to make sure you've done everything. So grab that. Nothing subversive. You've hidden that. Let's go answer the door. Hello. So he's going to check your house. Pray, bless the president. Yeah, that's very Soviet Russia. Like suddenly missing a fridge and things, he might get a little bit suspicious. Now you get like a couple of warnings and things, I think. In my test, I literally left the bench out. And he just got penalised. But nothing too bad happened, but I imagine it will if you do too much. You probably get a like, game over. Probably get sent to a re-education camp. That's an old computer. It's a very old computer. Protect yourself, gas mask. Okay. Essential item was lacking none. Suspicions none. Next visit. Positive score. 5.0. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we're going to go place the workbench downstairs. We need to uncover mm. it. So it's a, it is more micromanaging. You do have to <laughs> go straight through that, apparently. You have to make sure you're doing certain things. That's... There. Mm. Done. Everything in place. Time for my ultimate plan. Check my journal. So you can see you have skills and you have a journal. So place five patches of soil in my bunker, collect five bags of seed. Mm. Of course, I can't do that because I don't have enough space. Like, at all. I can make the soil, but I've got nowhere to put it. I can just make another, like, wall lamp I think I need to. I may have to go deeper. As you can see, I've got a lot of things I can do. Make a baseball bat, simple trap. So I can obviously fight, make books, tables, chairs, wood. But obviously I need to get wood. Raining. Okay, so we're going to have to stop taking things apart. Which is going to be a problem, because we may start noticing that. What's in here? Well, okay, just pick up the box. So we're going to need to grab some more metal. We're going to need to dig some more rooms. So as you can see, it's going to start getting advanced. Let's do this, yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to build in here, but as you can see, we're planning. Maybe we can get five and actually make this into the garden. Need five bags of seed. Not sure where I'm going to get those. We now need metal. Okay, let's uh... What's this? Pallets give me wood. Textile, okay, let's um... Let's sell ten of those. We can get wood. It's more metal, but he's not selling metal itself. Okay, let's grab four of those for the... I'll grab three of those for the metal. I guess we're just going to wait around? Wait, what? Did we just do a trade? Just did a trade, didn't we? Where's my money? Grab all three of those. That goes the metal. So we can, of course, go out. We're going to have to make some more things. We're going to have to start digging. We need to grab more in the way of ladders. As you can see, we'll have to see how things go. Where's my resources? I bought them. Don't want to give me a timer? How dare you. I have five grounds, six money. Have a nap. Is that him over there? No. Where's my boxes? Inspect this. Bin. Okay. 
Gasoline. So we can have resources. We may have to take something metallic. Well, interesting is this. Because I didn't get my boxes. Maybe I'll come tomorrow. Two metal, one plastic, one electronics. It's not enough. What's this? One metal. Okay, take the box. <sighs> take that. Maybe I've, they've delivered the boxes? No. Yeah, let's start scrapping things. Scrap this. Two hours of getting late. Didn't get my boxes. So hungry. You can eat in a minute. Go, go, go. We need to get some more food soon. Beets. Maybe we're going to get seeds from those by eating them? Not sure I'm going to get seeds. I remember I stopped at this point so I didn't quite know. But yes, this is the game. Obviously it's, it works exactly as I imagined it would. You go out, you build things. Two or three metal. What? Didn't I get more metal? What's this? Two metal, two plastic, one textile, one electronics. Really? What else is in my house I can destroy? Which I which wouldn't be missed. What's that? Grab that. Be a bit suspicious not taking too many big things to melt down. Go. Okay, now we can install that. Now let's go get some more glasses. There's loads of boxes over here we can start stealing. I, I know we're prepping and all that, but we're literally dismantling our own house. It feels weird. It feels very weird. Okay, fine. We'll work on that later. I'll cover that. Go to sleep. So we can just take the bed, but I think they'd notice if the entire house was empty. Only me. Maybe they wouldn't. Maybe there will be a nuclear disaster. In the game, not in real life. Is that going to be him or my items I ordered? I'm not going to pick that up until I know. Obviously, I imagine if he finds that, I'd like to obviously hide it even more. So I'd like to have more textiles. What is it? Give me my boxes. Thank you. I've bought too many boxes. Yeah, no one cares about you or your opinion. Where's the G-Man? I want to have a quick nap before the G-Man turns up. Why don't tell me I have to talk to him? Come on then. What do you want? Hmm. Hi clients, uh, it's good to see you keep yourself busy. Yeah, I know. Any seeds? You can trade him stuff. Glass, fabrics. Plastic? Maybe. But we need all this stuff. Okay, he's gone. Let's go and nap until bad guy turns up. Bad guy McBadguyson. And then we keep on sacrificing things. In the name of the American Dream in Murkerville. Okay, let's uh, turn this. Let's go to here and uncover this and start working until he turns up, I guess. Hmm. 
But yeah, it's just a demo, so obviously a few things won't be in the game, a few things probably will be. A few things might have a couple of issues, stuff like that. Let's get some more lights. There we go. One, two, wait, let's pick that up. Three, four, five. Oh, only five. That was perfect then. I made five bags of seeds from somewhere. Where did I get five bags of seeds? What happens if I eat one of my a bag of seeds? I might get a bag of seeds. Open. Eat a carrot. I didn't get any seeds from that carrot. Eat a proper piece of food. Okay, what have we got? We've got this, which is Sergi. But there's nothing there. Where can I go? Only the forest. Is the forest stuff seeds? Into the, into the woods. So you can get berries from there. You can get wood. Let's grab that. Let's see where this goes. Back home. Okay. Like I say, not everything is in the game right now. Obviously this is also a demo, so it's even more... Um, blocked off. So yeah, I'm not quite sure where to get seeds. As you can see, it's a very robust crafting mechanic where everything actually matters. Like if we get some wood, we can start building traps and things. We can keep on digging. We can do all sorts. And that's how the game works. Do that. Build this. That gives me another room. As you can see, we're starting to really keep growing. We've got five seed beds there, we can actually get seeds down. It's only two o'clock. You know sort of upgrade things you can see here, you can actually just like put stuff in to upgrade them. Um, obviously more, the bigger the room is. Right now of course we don't have that. What's this? And can I get seeds out of it? Inspect this. A plant? No. Mm, ground. No. Electric box. I imagine that'd get a bit dangerous when we start having power. How do I get seeds then? This is actually quite a big bag garden. You can go really quite far in this build. Where do I get seeds? A bit of radio. Build some boxes, can build a white cup. So everything I've destroyed I can just rebuild. Wardrobe, bed, ladder, wooden box would be good for storage. Workbench level two requires a lot of equipment. Simple traps pretty easy to make. Let's go and trade. Just that one person. Okay. What have you got, Sergio? Let's do that. Trade that. What did I just trade? What was that? Uh oh. I just traded the metal. Damn it. It says collect five bags of seed. But there's nowhere I can seemingly get some. Which is a problem. Where do I get seed? Five bags of seeds. I 
can't see anything highlighted. There's obviously nothing in my house. There's nowhere to trade. Maybe it is the forest? So this is where I got to in the actual test. This is literally where I got to in the test. I was like, where do I get my seeds? I still don't know. Like I can grab berry bushes. Maybe I can plant them. Fruit forest, you can eat them or cook them. Can't go that way, as you know. This is the only place I can go. So I'm a little bit at a loss. Can I plant them? If I quick plant, they put something down. Oh, I can. Good. Not proper container. What? Please say I can use carrots. I get one. Hello, thank you for the resources. I hope you go away. Hmm. I heard there's wolves. Well, I hope they eat you. Come on, allow me to plant a carrot. Why is it not a proper container? So where do I get the seeds from then? It's an interesting question because now I'm very curious because we can't. Can I use that? No. The seeds on here? Where are the seeds? So yeah, I might have to leave it here just because I don't know. Two beads. Oh, I was doing the wrong thing. Can you eat it? You can also make it, use it to make sugar. Seeds. If I was a seed, where would I be hiding? What are you? Carrot! No, just in the... Mm. Okay. Now someone gets to die. They were just seeds. Ugh. Couldn't have highlighted the fact when I already bought them. I need to water them as well. So as you can see, it starts getting a bit more advanced. And it's very much simulation than anything else. So you need to make sure you got it going on proper simulation style. There we go. Plus need water and light to grow. Keep your farm workroom on it. More light equals faster growth. Okay. Where do I get the water? Do I just pick up water? Receive water. I also get some glasses. Oh, it's raining. Did I get that water? Okay, let's uh, break the glasses down. There we go. Grab that. Water that one. No, actually, just water that one. Water that one. Water that one. 
and water that one. So yeah, we need to get a bit more light down here as you can see. Check my plan again. Yes, the plan! So yeah, it's very, very simulation. You've probably already decided by now whether you like it or not. But this is what you'll be doing. This is very much simulating actual prepping and survival. So it's going to be a little bit more micromanagey than you're probably used to if you don't like these kind of games. Okay. But I like manual events. I like simulation and survival kind of things. What we got? How can I escape? Car, plane, rocket. Thank you. Ah, it's a demo. Anyway. Oh, well, that's a um, good time to stop then. So I've been the Fallen Shogun. It's been a Mr. Prepper demo. Uh, again, from the Steam Summer Festival. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm looking out for new indie games. I'm trying to find all the exciting and wonderful things. And of course, I'm building up as many games as I possibly can from the Steam Summer Festival. But anyway, ciao for now. Be awesome, be epic, be amazing. And I'll be seeing you next time. Rejected Games. What a name.